So we're here in Napa Valley at Alpha Omega Winery, speaking with Matt Brain, who's the winemaker. Matt is starting a new monthly series of columns about winemaking for jamesuckling.com, and his first topic is minerality. So I'm asking Matt to talk a little bit about the wine he's tasting and how did the minerals get in there? Mm -hmm. So I have my 2021 Sacroche Vineyard, a single vineyard Cabernet in the glass right now. And I'm really loving this wine because as I, as I give it a swirl, I'm getting some beautiful dusty earth. I'm getting a little bit of flint and actually a little bit of wet rocks in this wine. So really alluring to me. And minerality is very, very, very interesting topic for me as a biologist, because I was always really wondered where are these aromas and flavors coming from? In my first article, we're gonna expand on that topic a little bit. We're gonna talk about some of the myths about where we thought minerals came from. We're gonna talk about winemaking techniques that we can utilize to showcase minerality. And I'm really looking forward to this column um, and these topics we're gonna be diving into. You know, And for me uh, and my friends, if we drink wine and we get minerality in the glass, we get very excited because to us, that's a really high quality, really well-made wine. So check out my new article where we dive into the technical details of minerality in wine. Thanks, Matt.